Hello boys and girls, moms and dads, grandmas, grandpas, cats and dogs, and peanut butter sandwiches out there. Let me ask you a question. What's your favorite toy? Maybe it's a video game console, or maybe you like action figures. Da -da -da -da. Or maybe you like playing with Lego. For me, one of my favorite toys is the simple spinning top. Spinning tops are very simple toys. Just a disc with a pointy bit that spins around and then falls over like this. To you, maybe it seems very simple, but actually the science and mechanics behind spinning tops are fascinating. After we spin our top, it will stay upright and continue spinning for a long time until eventually it wobbles and falls over. This is because of Isaac Newton's first law of motion. An object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. When we spin our top, it wants to keep spinning. Actually, it will spin forever unless something outside stops it. Here on Earth though, no spinning top will spin forever. Eventually, gravity and friction will overpower the momentum and it will wobble and then fall onto its side just like this. We want our spinning top to spin faster. That's going to make it keep turning for longer. To do that, we will make a spinning top launcher. Our spinning top launcher uses gears to make the top turn faster. Using these gears, when I turn the handle one circle, the wheel will turn 25 times. That's amazingly fast. Before we make the spinning top, let's make the launcher. First, I lay out the frame. This will hold the gears and the handle. Next, I add some plates at the back, which I can use to hold the launcher. Now we add a 40 tooth drive gear with its handle. You can see the handle is long. This means I have more leverage when turning the gears. I add in the idle gear axle. It has an eight tooth gear on the same axle as a 40 tooth gear. This 40 tooth gear will turn our spinning top. Now I add some plates. This will make the launcher stronger, so it will not break when I'm turning the top. The spinning top itself is much easier. I just use an axle with a large wheel in its center. I add the tire to the large wheel. I use a bushing to add some space and then put an eight tooth gear on. This gear can connect to the 40 tooth gear on the launcher. And now it's time to play. When you've made your spinning top launcher, you can try to experiment with different types of tops to see if making it heavier or lighter will make it spin longer or what different shapes of spinning tops will do. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye bye.